Hey there YouTube, this is your boy Sage right here. He's here under this great big pecan tree. It's been kind of windy. You can see there's still a lot of casings and stuff on the tree. I figured it was windy. It probably blew a couple down. So I'm teaching Sage how to identify a uh, pecan tree. So you can uh, fight the squirrels off. Pick up pecans like this here. Just walk around, pick them up, and make sure that the uh, squirrels haven't chewed a hole in them, like this. So you want to make sure you don't have a bunch of stuff in your pocket, so maybe a little net bag or a Walmart sack or something. So you can, uh, I just drop them in my pocket. A lot of people know about this area, so there's not usually a whole bunch of pecans up here. We can see what the squirrels do here. They just uh, bite a hole in it and leave it. Here's another one the squirrels got. But uh, it's not just the uh, pecans you're looking at. Whenever there is a uh, large pecan tree like this, there's always a uh, abundant sea of squirrels in the area. Because uh, this is a good food supply for them. So... You sit out here with a pellet gun, you can uh, get you quite a few squirrels also. You have any, are you eating them? No. I'm just I'm one, though. Yeah, I just thought maybe you were having a little snack. It looked like it. Oh, oh. See, they got this hard casing on them. You can just, it pops right off. Yeah, babe. Eat as many as you want, but some of these are probably last year, so use your better judgment. But yeah, they're 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 fine to eat. If you crack one open in the bag, just throw it down and get you another one. There's one the squirrel got. Yeah, we're up here. We're in Nob Noster, Missouri. Going up here to on Christmas Eve, ain't it? Today's December the 24th. Grandma called. She said Santa Claus already came by. So we're going to go up here and let the kids open some presents. Well, I guess not as many blew out of the tree as I thought. But if you're hungry, this method will definitely feed you. You can see these are pecans here. With the casing on them still. Some of that casing. Huh? The outside, but the rotten inside. Yeah, that's because they're wood and they sit on the ground and soak up moisture. But you, yeah, you just have to pick them up and go through them. Only I'm down to three nuts. Well, I got I got quite a few. There's one right there, son. They've been chewed on by the squirrel. Yep. Yep. That's what I was saying. It was pretty windy the other day. Well, let's get to Grandma's. Looks like somebody already came over here and did some walk and maybe made a, uh, maybe made a, here's one. See what I mean by the casing? This falls right off. So, you know, old timers did this when they wanted a nice pecan pie. I've probably got, I don't know how many of them are good, but I've probably got about 30 in my pocket. And I've only been here, you know, the length of this video. Are you ready to go, son? I'm Let me get you a close up look, help you identify these trees. They're usually pretty big. This tree was here when I first moved to Missouri and the house that was there. It used to be a big house there. It's long since gone. And uh, there was an elderly lady that lived there. And uh, when I was a uh, juvenile, I actually talked her out of cutting this tree down. 
Yeah, she was going to cut this tree down at one time, and I talked her out of it, and we still got it. All right, well, this is Waylon. That's Sage over there saying thanks. And keep watching. We're going to get out of here and let the squirrels come back.